What's up everyone? I've got an amazing glute and quads workout for you today. We're gonna hit the anterior and the posterior part of your lower body in this 45 minute workout. It is a burnout workout, so expect some time under tension. Expect some single leg work. Expect to really push yourself into hip extension and then of course sagittal plane movements like your squats and your hinges, all right? So go ahead and grab your glute bands if you have them and also your sliders if you have them. We'll use those for the first and last circuits of the workout. And then we've got things like glute bridges and squats, heavier dumbbells, grab those and make sure you're ready to push yourself in this time under tension workout, all right? Grab your water, grab your sweat towel, and let's go. All right, let's pull heels to glutes. Get pumped for this workout. We're gonna have you in and out in 45 minutes. Good sets of work here. Super sets, so two exercises, back to back, three rounds. 45 seconds of work. Okay, so you've got time. Let's sit it down. You've got time to get in good reps. I wanna make sure in your 45 seconds that you're just sitting and holding tension, not taking too much rest up top here, okay? Good, last one, and then hands on your hips. Take them back. I do have my bands out for the first superset, and then I have my sliders out for the very last one. Any time today that you're squatting or in a bridge, you can use your bands. Two, one, good job. Step it back, hamstring, high kicks. Good job, two more. There you go, all right. Let's go into a pike position. Heels down, I like to always open up your calves, get your ankles moving well for squats. Good. Exhale into a plank. Drop your hips, open your chest. Gotta have good open hips for full hip extension in your bridges and your deadlifts. All right, let's walk it up. Go ahead and throw your medium glute resistance band on. All right, we're gonna go band squat walks. Stepping out in two. Here we go. 45 seconds right here. I want you to spend as much time knees apart as possible. So try not to be here too much. Good job. You can use your arms to kind of keep your hips back, reach forward. Fifteen, good job. Three, two, and breathe. Good job. Now we're going into kickbacks, okay? I want to get this extended hip. So we're taking it here, or you can reach down onto the bench, or if you're feeling okay with balance, right up top here. Heel to the sky. Two, let's go. I like a more upright stance for you here because right here, you have a lot of bent hip position, and what we wanna get out of this is hip extension. So it's a little easier when you're up a little higher. Easier to feel that connection. Don't turn your toe outward. Keep it pointed to the ground. Great work. 15. Almost there. Great work, we're going back to the squats. If you wanna add weight, feel free. I want you in this round, instead of coming up, to stay a little bit lower, okay? It's a glutes and quads burner. So let's go, two, one, stay down. Hands are here. Step out, landing on the pinky toe edge of your foot so you're not easing into it, okay? You're out with the abduction. Good 
Great work, 15. Eight. Amazing, good job, grab water. We're going back to the kickbacks. If you need to grab onto the wall or something, hip height, go ahead and do that. We're going five. Hands on your hips, come on. Toe points to the ground. And you're lifting, think about lifting your glute like you're trying to push it up your back. Don't arch your back. Great work. Give me 10. Good work. And you got one more round of both. However you can make this a little more difficult, let's go for it. Remember our goal from the beginning, time under tension. So we spend le less time with knees together here in both exercises. Let's go. Good, knees fight out, 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 out. There you go, good job. 15. Now let's go a little lower for the last 10. Five. Good, breathe. One last work period and then we take a 30 second breather and we'll add some weight to this work. Big exhale. Let's go. Get the hip open. If your band is so tight that you're leaning to get it moving or you're kicking, lower that resistance. I need you to feel that lift. Good job, 10. Great work, you've got 30 seconds rest. And right, we're moving on to some squats. We've got a goblet squat. I want it to be front loaded, whether it's goblet or you have two dumbbells for front squat or you have a barbell, if you're doing barbell front squats. Front loaded squat and then we have a back loaded squat, all right? Starting with goblet in 10. Same kind of format, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, remember our goal, stay in it. Be in the squat, let's go. So I'm spending less time here waiting. More here, 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 here. Good. Knees are out, chest is up. The hips follow the chest. Don't let your hips go back and then roll you up. Hips just go up when the chest goes up. Great work. All right. Back squat. Let's go. And with the back squat, you'll be a little bit more open in the chest. Okay, sit back and down. I 
and I'm thinking about actively getting the floor away from me. Great job, push, eight, seven, six. One more. Good work. All right, 15 seconds, and we're back to the front loaded. Goblet or front rack. Let's go up if you can. Two. Come on. In this front rack position, I'm demanding a little more of your back to make sure you're not rounding it on the way down or on the way up. The resistance being out front means this will be easy. This takes work in the core. To make your legs nice and strong, everything else up top stays strong. Good work, let's go four. Yes, there we go. Okay, back loaded, round two. All right, let's get it. That's it, 12. Push the floor, push the floor, three. Good work. All right, last round of both, let's go. Front rack, one or two. Two, let's go. Fifteen. Seven. One more. All right. Last round. Back squat. Here we go. Three. Let's go. Twenty, come on. There you go, stay in it, you got three. And breathe. 30 seconds rest. Come on, grab water. All right, heading back to the posterior chain. You've got a supported single leg Romanian deadlift. This can either mean on the bench or against the wall or against anything that's about knee height. One foot is here, front leg is working. Exercise one. Exercise two, three rounds of both. All right, let's go. 
Left leg on the ground, come on. You can hold either side, either hand, whichever one allows you to keep shoulders straight, hips straight, and spine strong. Shift it back, feel that stretch, dig the heel in. Good job, you can stretch back, you can really reach it. You've got support here. Ten. Great work. Other side. Three rounds of both, so if you want to go up second round and up third round, I would love that for you. All right, let's go. Feel the back of your leg really stretch. Shift it, shift it, shift it. Drive the heel. Almost there. Nice work, level hips, level shoulders, five. Good work. All right, let's go up if you feel strong. If you feel like I need to work on my form, that felt good, I felt a good connection. If I go up, I might lose that, stay right there. Here we go, two. Come on. There we go. Stretch, when you get here, make sure back doesn't come up first. Stay strong, hip comes forward first. Chest rises up as your hip comes forward. Good work. All right, other side, second round. And then we'll have one more round of each before we head down to the floor for glute bridges. Ready? All right, hinge it back, let's go. Don't let your weight get too far in front of you. If you're out here with your weight, what does that do to my back automatically? Rounds it, okay? Load it back, lats are strong, so it goes right along your leg. Your back can't be turned on if the dumbbell's way away from you. Seven. All right, let's go. Round number three, both sides. Hopefully that made sense. If your lats are relaxed, dumbbells away from you, you're not gonna have enough tension to keep your back strong. Lock it in. Last round, let's go. Use that back balance to shift back. Don't think about bending over, think about shifting back. Good job. Other leg, and then we'll head down to the floor. Two. 
Let's hinge. Nice work, give me 12. One more. Great job. Woo. Take it down to the floor. We've got glute bridges and then glute bridge abductions. So if you have a band, I want you to grab it, put it on. Probably your heavy one. Okay, regular bridges, full range of motion all the way up, all the way down. And then the second one is gonna be either drop the weight or drop it off all together and just drive your knees out. Ready? Let's go. And you should feel pretty good on your back too. Squeeze your glutes hard, then lift. They're reaching for each other, not the sky. The glutes are reaching for each other. Then they lift your hips. Good job. Great work, four. Rest, I wanna do one more because I started a second late. All right, band on, heavy band, a weight on if you can, but I just want you to keep the knees driving out. Two, let's go. And as I drive out, I make sure glutes don't drop. Ten seconds. Great job. Glute bridges, round two, full range of motion. Don't worry so much about the knee drive outward here, just the glute drive together. Let's go. Good reps, come on. Don't lead with your back, lead with the glutes together. Ribs and belly button, neutral. 15. Good work, all right. Drop it off to the side, or keep a light weight on. Think of sternum and belly button. Don't let them open away from each other, okay? Keep them neutral together. Lift up, let's go. Almost there, 10.
great job. All right, last round. Come on, let's rock it out. Full range of motion. Then our abductions, adductions. All right, let's get it. Up, up, up. Fifteen. Two. Oh, great work. Drop it off. Come on. Last set. All right, support your head, hands down by your side, whatever feels good. Exhale. Keep these neutral. Let's go. Feels like a very small move, but it's very powerful. So important to strengthen this movement. Come on, brace yourself, breathe. Don't let them drop, you got eight. Good work. 30 seconds to rest. You're doing amazing, come on, stay with me. We're going up, using that bench again, but we're gonna sit now, if you don't have a bench, just regular split squats on the floor. Okay, we're going here. I want you to keep your chest a little more upright versus bent. That's a little more glute targeted. I wanna keep it a little more quad focused here. Ready? Left leg, let's go. Good job. You're gonna use all of the lower body muscles, so it's not like we can isolate just the quads, but with the torso a little bit more upright, we focus less on a stretch here, more on power from here. Five. Good work. And also, I know we just worked the posterior chain in the previous two circuits, so if you feel it there, it's okay. All right, but this position helps us get back into that anterior portion. Let's go. Stay in the front leg. Don't shift to the bench leg. Nine. Good job. First round done. I saw a lot of people working on split squats this year and I'm really proud of you. So now, as we rock into this program, remember that you've worked hard to be more confident. Show yourself that, okay? Confidence in your movements, confidence in the way that you push out of a movement instead of getting frustrated that it's hard. Push through, just do it anyways. Just go, come on.
Come on, come on, six. Great work. Feel the difference when you show up a little bit more confident in a movement? Let's use that for the second leg, second round. Four. Come on. Here we go. Good job, you got 18. Come on, get through it, four. Great work. All right, that's the last round of these two. Confidence. You're strong enough, you just gotta believe that. Move with confidence. Three. Come on. Back is turned on. Shoulders pulled back. Or you've got a front rack position. Fight through for 12. One more, two. Oh, good job. Finish strong here. Last leg, last round of these. Four. Good work. Exhale, on the way down and up. Here we go. Seven. Yes, beautiful. We made it through. Let's split squats, grab water, 30 seconds. <sighs> All right, let's incorporate a little slider in this one. Had a single leg squat. Let's stay in that, okay? So set your hips back down. I want you to go out to the side, okay? Two, one, let's go. So when you go out to the side, all the weight is here, all the weight is here the whole time. Okay, don't shift over. Good, now you can incorporate any type of movement, back, side, just stay right here. Fifteen, good job. Five. Perfect. Other leg. You're doing great. So this is anterior work. Quad heavy. Five. Let's go, sit it down. Either right to the side or to the back. Whatever you wanna do over here, just stay here. Good job, heels down. You don't have to be at a 90 degree angle. I just need you to be in this quad. Means push your toes down, push your heel down. Five. 
five. Good job. Swing it back to the other leg. Single leg squats here. Any variation that you would like. Okay, straight out to the side, straight back. Let's go. Good, whole foot touches the floor. down like we said earlier just do it just keep moving sit doesn't really matter how fast the other leg goes as the focus is on time under tension in this lengthened position of your quad okay lots of switch ups in this workout full range of motion partials lengthened eccentric holds like this, whoo. Ten. Good job, three. Breathe. Now, if you haven't yet, maybe try and grab a dumbbell here. Keep it on the inside of the stationary leg. Okay, that way. We're not forcing you in here. Ready? Let's go. Good work, good work. Stay in this with me. For the last 15, we don't stand up. We don't straighten our knee. Come on, come on. Don't doubt yourself. Four. Breathe. Okay. Other leg, let that sweat fall. You have earned it. We're finishing this one strong, right here. Ready? Four. All right, sit down. Two. Come on. Remember, not a race how fast this other leg goes. It's how well you can stay here. We're almost there. You and me, 15 seconds, bent knee, let's go. Push the heel down. If you need to stay in it, squeeze your fist really tight. Five. Squeeze, sit, rest. Good work. Now let's take it down to the floor. All right, hamstring curl. So if you have a yoga ball, you wanna use that instead of these guys, that's okay. All right, I'm also gonna add my heavy band. We've got hamstring curls and glute bridge holds. All right, we start with the curls. Lengthened hamstring, and then pull it back under. As you pull, your hips rise. Two, let's go, come on. There you go, make sure you don't bring your feet back in and then bridge up, okay? 
As your heels get closer, your butt kind of thinks about moving out of the way. Two, one, now come up to the top here. Just drive your knees out for 15 seconds and hold this abduction. There you go, come on, hold, hold, hold. Three, in two seconds, scoot your left foot away just a little bit, stay in that bridge, stay here. Right leg is powering it up, you've got the band on, so Right leg is powering up, but it's also holding against the pole that's trying to pull it inward. Okay, we're doing hip extension here. We're also doing a little bit of abduction with that outward knee drive. Almost there, 13, 12. Come on, right leg, push up, drive the knee out. Five. Okay, rest. We're gonna do the same thing. Hamstring curls, hold, and then scoot one leg away, okay? Here we go, five. Let's go, reach, pull up. Twenty seconds. Good, ten. All right, get ready. Five seconds on your next pull in. Pull in, leave it up. Drive the knees out. Hold for fifteen. Good job, in seven seconds, you're gonna scoot the right leg away. And we hold there for 45 and you've made it. All right, let's go. Right leg out of the way. It's just forward, right in front of your toe. Left heel is driving into the floor. Relax your toes, just push your heel and then drive your knee out. You wanna make this harder? Take your other knee and drive it out away as well. So you have to fight harder against the band. Come on, 20 seconds. Good, glutes up, glutes up, come on. 10, just do it, don't question it, just hold. Drive up, drive up. Now, knee goes out, we go four, three, hold, 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 two, and breathe. Drop your glutes down to the floor, extend your legs out front any way you can, roll it up and reach forward. Right into a toe touch. You've made it to your cool down, but we gotta cool it down. <sighs> Great job. Before you head out, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and let me know that you finished it. Let me know what you're thinking about this program, okay? Do you love it? Which workouts are you crushing the most? Which ones are you surprising yourself with your strength? Let me know, let me know how you're crushing it. All right, take that band off. Go ahead and bring your feet in. Soles of your shoes are together. And let's just round it over top here. Leaning side to side. Give your low back a little stretch. Good, take right arm over to the left side. Hold here. Big deep exhale, same thing on the other side. Reach over and hold. Flip over to your hands and knees. Good work, all right. Hips drop, chest opens. Beautiful work. 
as you head out today, think about what you just accomplished. Be proud, be present in your life outside of this. I talked a lot about just do it today. Okay, tuck your toes, lift your hips up. I want you to apply that. No more thinking, man, I'm having an off day, having an off week, this is really tough because X, Y, and Z, just do it. Walk back to your toes. Bend your knees, roll it up nice and slow. Why am I saying all of this? Because just like everyone else, I keep it real. And you have days where you're pretty tired, you have days where you're feeling great, we all have a combo of those days. We all will always have a combo of those days, but what you cannot forget is what you show up for. Why are you even here? What do you want out of this? On the days where everything else kind of seems to cloud that, go back to your why and just do it. It may not be your heaviest workout. It may not be the best feeling workout. The whole workout might feel heavy, but sometimes on days like this where you feel like, I feel strong, those days are worth it. It's also worth it on the days where you don't feel your best to show up and do your best, okay? Always, always remember, just do it, okay? Just go ahead and do it. Unless, of course, there's some extreme circumstances. A lot of times we talk ourselves out of working hard just because we think it might be hard, harder today than yesterday to work hard. Hard work is always worth it though. You always directly benefit from your hard work. So show up and do it regardless of what's going on and remind yourself of that when you're done. I can do these hard things. I can show up for myself and I can do it in spite of what else is happening, okay? Very proud of you. Thank you for showing your strength today. I will see you back here for our next workout. Give the video a thumbs up and let me know how you're crushing it in the comments below. I'll see you soon.